Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. On this channel, we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions. From this video, we are going to start a new series called Advanced SQL 50, where we are going to solve 50 advanced SQL problems covering topics like select, basic joins, basic aggregate functions, sorting and grouping, advanced select and joins, subqueries, and window functions and common table expressions. If you are new to this channel, I have already covered basic and intermediate level SQL in SQL 50 playlist where we covered diverse aspects of SQL using 50 carefully curated questions. So yeah, if you are new and if you want to learn the SQL from basics, you should start with this playlist and then come back to the playlist that we are going to start today. Okay, in this we are going to start with question number one, find customers with positive revenue this year and try to learn from it. So yeah, let's jump right in. So this is the first video of the series, find customers with positive revenue this year. And if I look at the companies, this question has been asked in. So Google interviews, kind of an important question. Let's look at what the question has to say. We are given a table called customers with three different columns, customer ID, year and revenue with all the data types being integer. The combined columns customer ID and year is the primary key that is combination of columns with unique values for this table. This table contains the customer ID and the revenue of customers in different years. Note that this revenue can be negative. We are asked to write a solution to report the customers with positive revenue in the year 2021. Order of the result does not matter. So let's go through this example and see what do we need in our output. So here we have various customers, the years and the revenue. So in 2021, who what all customers had a positive revenue that is revenue greater than zero. So for 2021, we have one, two and three rows for customer ID one, two and four. But for customer ID two in year 2021, the revenue was negative 50. So the only two customers who have positive revenue in year 2021 is customer ID one whose revenue was 30 and customer ID four whose revenue was 20. So one and four should be in our output. So basically this is very simple. What we need to do is we need to perform filtering using the where clause. So from this table called customers, we need firstly to look for those rows where year is equal to 2021 and also the revenue should be positive. So and clause and revenue is greater than zero and then we need to return the customer id so return customer id okay then you might ask why we are not doing distinct customer id here we have repetitions right so you see in this table it has been written that the combined column customer id and year is the primary key that is it is going to be unique values so since we are already specifying a particular year so all the customer ids related to it is going to be distinct so you do not need to write the redundant distinct here okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so yeah, this is accepted, our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it. Not a very difficult question. All we had to do was what, if, what we learned in our SQL 50 that if you want to perform a filtering based on two different conditions, you can use the where clause along with the and clause to specify all the conditions that you want to check for. And then we return the customer ID. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and I will see you guys in the next video.